Hey everyone, welcome back to another Godzilla Battleline video, and today I'm coming at you with my review on Mechagodzilla as a unit, not as a leader. That's going to be a separate video breaking it down, because obviously, as we all know, using a character as a unit and using a character as a leader, very different, right? They play differently, they act differently, different video. So, today's video is going to be discussing Mechagodzilla as a unit, not as a leader. Ah, oh, what's going on in my stream background? I'm trying to go through the, the stream, you see it? Alright, there it is, alright, so it all worked out. The background footage you see is from stream last night. Feel free to watch that on the channel. I had to re-upload it for technical reasons. Um, but if you want to catch more live streams, stick around on the channel because I do them not frequently, but every so often I do them. We do friend battles. So this is one of the friend battles, and this is featuring me using a G21 leader, which I'm not talking about. That was yesterday's video. And Mechagodzilla 2021 as a unit. Now, how do I like Mechagodzilla 2021 as a unit? I think he's... I think he has a lot of potential. I feel like I said it all the time. Mechagodzilla 2021 is a powerful unit. The stats are solid. The stats are really good. It's, it's just that he's not really helping you combat a lot of the meta units. And you know what? That's on Toho because they refuse to change the meta. G21 or... Oh my god. MG21, Mechagodzilla 21 does not target air units. We've said it a million times on this channel. Not being able to target the air units is a massive problem because they're the meta. Uh, Ultraman, Batra, Mothra Leo. You could even go now with G21 as a leader, Mega Gearus, the Rodan twins, right? Fire Rodan and regular Rodan. All of the flyers are in one way or another pretty good, pretty meta. Mechagodzilla 21 is not going to target them. Now, I didn't say he cannot hit them. He's just not going to target them. What Mechagodzilla 21 does is look, he's going to use his scorpion tail attack, and then he uses a punch, and then he uses his missiles, and it's all dependent on how much health he has. So when he's at full health, he has to be really up close, and he can use his tail like a scorpion and sting you at the tail. When he gets to about a quarter of his health lower, he's going to be using his swipe punch. I can't really tell if it's aoe or not i don't think it is i think it's single target it could be aoe if it is it's very minor aoe but i don't off the top of my head remember but uh it's a pretty good attack and then his final attack when he's i think below 50 percent or when he's at like 25 percent health remaining is the missile so you can see it right there look on the screen he didn't even get to the missiles at mine on the top of the screen did use the missiles. So when he's below 50% health, he drops. He uses this huge missile spray. The missile spray, that's what can hit the air units. His tail isn't going to hit the air, and his punch isn't going to hit the air. It's the missile spray that hits the air. Okay, so why is that not good? He can hit the air with the missile spray. The missile spray is a powerful attack. It's because he's nine, not nine times, but like eight times out of ten, he's dying before he gets a chance to even use the missile spray look how close he had to get to the fourth angel to attack look how close he is right there to my batra he has he, he's close range and that's fine it synergizes well with mechagodzilla 20 or regular godzilla 21 and he can you know you can synergize the legendary monsters together which is great we love to see that you know godzilla 21 is going to lower mechagodzilla's cost on the field and you're going to have a fun time with that my main problem with Mechagodzilla as a unit... Oh, I'm swapping through my deck over here. Let me fast forward to another battle for you. My main problem with Mechagodzilla 21 is that because he's so close, he really isn't getting a chance to use that Missile Volley. And that Missile Volley is his best attack because it scales up. His regular, you know, Scorpion Sting does a little bit of damage. His Punch does an, a good amount of damage. His Missiles do a ton of damage a ton of damage if i'm not mistaken a level 10 uh mechagodzilla 21 which is the rentable level of him for this season that he's featured in in uh december late december and january of 2023 um it's like a thousand something damage for the missile volley and that's an aoe so that's great because on death with the angel you're getting like a thousand damage and that's on a death not while he's alive Mechagodzilla 21, while alive, will deal that much damage as an AoE. But because he's so close to the other units, and it takes him so long to attack, not like Eva or 
or G21, where it takes them a long time to set up the attack. Look how close Mechagodzilla has to get to this G21 to hit him once, and then he's dead. Units are going to be able to hit him before they... Before, but units are hitting Mechagodzilla 21 before he can even get in range. And by the time he gets in range, it's too late. So his best ability, you're not really using it too, too often. Unless, like on stream last night, thankfully a lot of the people that joined in my battles were also using, you know, Mechagodzilla 21, G21, or Kong or something, and we could test more close range battles. However, the meta isn't a close range meta. It's a long range meta and a flying meta. What are the two things MG21 cannot do? Hit long range and hit flyers on purpose. He hits flyers on accident. His stats are really good. His health stat is fantastic, right? His damage stats are not terrible. His first hit of damage is okay, but that final missile volley, that damage is ridiculous. That is really good damage. And I think later on, when you bring Mechagodzilla into like the arena, maybe not when everyone's rented a 10. Say you invested all your G materials into Mechagodzilla 21 and you get him to level 15 for next season. So everyone else has him at like two at the, at the minimum, right? Something like two or three. And you have yours at 15. You're going to see really good results, but that's because he's overpowered. This is a fixed battle. All the, vi all the battles you're going to see in the background on this video and in the stream, they're all fixed battles. And he holds his own for sure against a lot of units. I mean, look at him right here dealing with the Kamakura Swarm. He does the punch. He's, he does good. He does good damage. It takes a lot to bring him down. It does. The fact of the matter is, I don't think he's going to be meta anytime soon because of what he lacks. He can't hit the air and he has to get extremely close. Or he can't hit the air on purpose, I should say. And that is going to be one of the biggest detriments. I mean, look, he, he's a great unit. He's fun unit too. For six caught, six is a little much for him since he can't hit. I think if a unit can't hit air or can't hit ground or something like that, they shouldn't be above a five cost if they don't also have like a ridiculous like ability. Like if they could only hit air, but they were had like insane stats, then they could be higher. But Mechagodzilla's stats are pretty good only when he's at extremely low health. I think Mechagodzilla should be like a 5 cost. I think he should be a 5 cost or like a 4 cost or something. Because he could be like a 4 cost tank. And if he was a 4 or 5, he would be a lot more usable. But the 6 energy cost slot is a valuable position. And a lot of players are using cards that cost 5. And several cards that cost 5. So adding a 6 cost in there could totally throw off your game. There are a few decks that Mechagodzilla will synergize in pretty well. You know, using the fourth him and the fourth angel and, you know, G21 is a really good strat and, and guy get 04 because you can use G21's leader ability to get all of them out super quickly, but you're not really hitting a lot of air units with that close range, right? So you're really lacking air superiority in a deck that's relying on G21 to boost the close range fighters. And look right there, Batra just took damage from that other Mechagodzilla with the missiles. I'm not saying that Mechagodzilla isn't like a fun unit. I think this new Mechagodzilla is one of the coolest units they've added. He looks awesome. He sounds awesome. L, they didn't do a Mechagodzilla laugh. But I, I really I really don't think at the moment he's going to be impactful going forward. I hope I'm wrong. He's only going to be available for the next six months, right? So keep that in mind. So whatever you get him to in six months is what he's probably going to be until they decide to bring him back or bring back more Monsterverse characters, whenever that is. Um, I like him a lot. I'm probably not going to invest a lot of my G material into him. I think he's a fun unit. I think he's a fine unit. I think if you want to use him, you can use him reliably. You just have to kind of be really smart about it because he's such a close range fighter. You really got to just like try to protect him and make sure. I mean, he can tank a lot, but you really want him to be using the missiles. And most of the time, if he's getting targeted and then he can use the missiles, it's, it's maybe a little too late for him. So, I like him. He has my seal of approval as being a decent unit. I don't think he's going to be meta anytime soon. I hope I'm wrong. I hope this is a video that ages poorly, and I hope that maybe I'm just missing something from him where I'm just not good at the game, or the people I'm fighting aren't good at the game, and I'm really not seeing the potential. Now, this is not to talk about his leader ability. Because uh, we're not talking about him as a leader. I'm talking about him strictly as a unit here. Just for clarification again. I I think that he's fine. I, 
I think if you want to use him as a unit, you can use him and feel comfortable that you're going to have a fun time using him. I think you're going to have to be a little bit smarter about how you use him. And honestly, the same could be said for Godzilla 2021. He's also a good unit, but he's a little bit harder to use. So for the easiest monster versus monster to use is Kong, because you just drop him and let him have fun. But G21 and Mega Godzilla take a little bit more finesse to pull off correctly. So they're more of like a, I don't want to say like a high skill gap, but I feel like G21 and Mecha Godzilla kind of are more of like a high skill gap card where you need to be a little bit smarter with how you place your pushes with them to get the most out of them. Like, look at this against this Mecha, or against this G89. Look, he goes to town over here. Look at that. Bam, bam, scorpion tail done. I feel like the scorpion tail move could have at least been a long range move, but I like that he's a brawler. I like that he has the missiles. He's a super cool unit. He looks awesome, right? He looks so cool. But I don't think he's going to be one of those units like Ultraman or Leo or Batra that you can just put in any deck and see immediate results. I think you're going to have to be a little smarter to play Mecha Godzilla 21. And that's not necessarily a bad thing. It just makes him more complicated. And the more complicated a unit, I'm not going to say it makes them less meta because that's not true. But I think that a lot of players are going to struggle using him because a lot of players are just trying to look for like a quick W, right? That you're using Batra and Leo. I'm using it too. I'm looking for a quick dub, you know? Mecha Godzilla, I think he's going to take a little bit more finesse to pull off. His stats are really, really good. He has really high damage when he's below the 50% threshold, right? When he can hit that missile strike. It's just getting that missile strike to proc is a problem because he has to get so close to another unit to do anything. So those are my thoughts on him. I really, really do like him as a unit. I really love his design. I think he's a ton of fun. I just don't think he's going to be as impactful as some people might have hoped that he would be. And that's not necessarily a bad thing. It's just my observation. I hope this video ages poorly because I hope that he ends up being a really, really good unit down the line. And maybe I just missed something. But that's my initial thoughts. It's, it's only been about a week, maybe less. I think it's been less than a week since he's been up. So these are my early thoughts. That's why it goes in the early thoughts and first impressions uh, video playlist. That's what I got for you guys today regarding Mechagodzilla 21. Thank you all so much for watching, and I will catch you on the next one. Bye-bye.